Greetings once again, my dear friends, and welcome back to Dave the Diver. We need to build up trust with the sea people. We need to make a phone call to Ellie, and we need to call Ellie. So what I think I'll do right now is call Ellie. Hello, Ellie. <coughs> huh? What's going on? Okay. Um, humpback whale appeared in the blue hole. I think it might have something to say. No. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. Sounds like it's looking for its offspring. Mm. Offspring? Yeah, they must be lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? As you're going about, if you hear a young one's cries, can you let me know? Uh, well, I can't just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. Mission completed. Whale cry. Mission updated. Finding the baby whale. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Hmm. I know what manta rays eat. Really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night and they will come. And you'll need five kelp to lure plankton. Huh? Made of kelp? Not necessarily, but they'll work too. Just bring me some. Flippin'. Oh, you got it. Now, input this here. Woohoo! Got some eco points. Hey, this has nothing to do with the lure. Ah, don't be disappointed yet. Ta-da, the lure capsule. Ooh. Just drop this lure and you'll lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Bye then. Well, I got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. Ah, this must be the lure for manta rays. My mouth is watering. I'm kidding. Anyways, I need to be prepared to take pictures at night. Yeah. I'll call you when I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Now we just need to find a baby whale and build up trust with the sea people. What has Cobra got for sale? I don't want to talk to him. Can't be bothered. Ink bomb. Oh, that, that's kind of fun. I'm not going to get it. Let's visit the sea people. <coughs> Alrighty. Details. So there's the mirror. We've got someone at the restaurant and seed shop that wants help. And someone all the way over at the arcade. Okay, we can do that. Seem to not be using up oxygen while we're here as well, which is nice. Mima's Restaurant. Yep, the food at Mima's is so good. It's really different than the food at home. Where do you get your ingredients? I have been coughing a lot lately. Hot soup is just right for this. How do you do soup in the ocean? How do you eat soup in water? Yeah, exactly. Hey, humans are such strange things. Yeah. No, I'm genuinely curious. How the hell do you do that? Well, well, are you the human we've been hearing rumours about? No, that's some other dude called Dave. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run a restaurant in the village. Yeah, I'm Dave. I'll be helping out at the village for a while. <laughs> oh, receiving help from a human. I never considered it a possibility before. Let's see, it's not like I can ask you to cook. Mm. 
my goodness, I forgot! Awang and Nawang ordered lunchboxes! Uh, great, those two. Ah, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier. That's nicer than I'd have been, Dave. I'd have just gone with those fuckheads. But anyway, Dave's nicer and more forgiving than I am, clearly. Yes, would you perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in front of the door? They should still be on duty at the gate. Please help me out, human. I suppose, yeah, I suppose I can do that. Where the... Sign. Does it mean I can ride a beluga here? Hey. hey. Awang. What are you doing wandering around here, human? Um. Been waiting for somebody to take off for lunch? You're quite the sneaky species. Um. What do you want, human? Don't get on my nerves, especially when I'm hungry. Um. I think perhaps I might have been supposed to pick something up here. Ah, yes. <coughs> here you go, you pair of absolute pricks. Um, human, what is it? Uh, I was asked to bring you these lunch boxes. Mm -hmm. mm, these are from Mima. You didn't add poison on the way here or anything, did you? I might have if I'd had some. What? Why would I? Well, all right. Give it here. Good work, I suppose. Whoa. I'm not going to return to Mima yet. There's a thing to do in the seed shop. Hello, seed seller. <laughs> huh, are you that human? Human, not you, mum. Haha, <laughs> you look interesting. You don't even have fins. It reminds me of someone. What's this shop you're running? Mm -hmm. I sell various seeds here, as well as flowers to offer to King Long. Mm. King Long? Mm. My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. Mm. He's the great king who saved this village from disaster. Mm. It's very difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that? Uh -oh. Go and offer a flower to King Long first. <laughs> Tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one! Alrighty. Um. Ah. Okay. Well, I'll do this first and then go and see Mama. So this statue is of King Long. It's the same person as in the painting from the record chamber. Mm -hmm. Guess I can put the flower on the platform in front of the statue. So I should go back and talk to him. 
in a minute when I've gone to the arcade. Actually, what's this? No active request. There's a request board. Fair enough. since humans came here. This can't be a coincidence. Yeah. I've been gambling a lot to blow off steam. I should skip a few meals. You want to listen? Would you like a little live music? Sure thing, Wooten. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Sure did, buddy. Ooh. How can hermit crabs be so fast? Huh, well, look at you, human. Ooh. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble coming all the way down here. Ooh. Nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going when you're tired, eh? Ooh. Play a game with me. <laughs> You know what? Let's play Shark Teeth. Okay. This is a game of sharks which you play with Junak. Remember the shark cavity that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of? Numbers between 1 and 3 are selected, and whoever touches it first will lose. Oh, I have no money. Okay. and all the seahorses escaped. We can't hold races. It's, it's tough putting food on the table. Well. That sucks. Huh, you're the human that's been wandering about our village, right? What fancy decorations. What is this place? <laughs> we, see, we see people work hard every single day. This is a place of pleasure for the hard-working villagers. Ah, so I can't come in, right? <laughs> it's all right. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? <laughs> oh, right. You're helping out at the village, isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's how it is for now. <laughs> I've been needing help with something. <laughs> this establishment operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. <laughs> the recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters, and all the seahorses have run off. <laughs> They should still be in the village. Will you, go, will you go and catch them for me? Come to think of it, Marky gave me a bug net. I think I could catch seahorses with it. Ah, yeah, I'll go and catch some sodding seahorses. farming. that was. A hedgehog seahorse. I'm not so sure about these species of seahorse, whether they actually exist, but whatever. 
Oh, there's, there's seahorses inside of places. That was a dwarf seahorse. <laughs> I did peek a little and it seems you did okay. Even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. <laughs> You'll do a bit of reading or something. Ah. I have 10 bay and 15 credits. Damn sea people and their dodgy social credit system. No, no random seahorse in here. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? <laughs> Humans are not half bad. I'll tell you if I need something done again. More credit and bay. in the workshop because I haven't been in there. It's not in here. Bloody hell. Mm. Mm, human. Yes, that is my species. going through here then. <clears throat> it might be a fancy seahorse. It is a fancy seahorse. Look at that. Yeah. Crowned seahorse. Of course it's with the damn king. Dear me, the tremors are getting worse. Human, hurry up and help the villagers to gain their trust. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't mind having a bit of help from you. We need the trust of the villagers as well. Yes, 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 yes. I'm on my way. I've been trying to help the damn villagers. all the seahorses. Yeah, they were quite difficult to find. <laughs> we can now resume our seahorse races. Ooh, 20 each of the bay and the credit. I'll give you a seahorse as thanks for your help. Wow, where can I get one? Go speak to Yami, who you can find in front of the race course. Hope to see you around in the game parlor, human. You yummy? 
Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yummy. I'm in charge of this seahorse race course. <laughs> I heard you caught all the seahorses that ran off. Thank you so much for that. What? I heard from Lynchon already. We'll give you a nice strong seahorse as a gift for your efforts. Jayakar's seahorse times one. Okay. Seahorse racing. Wow. I've seen many seahorses like this elsewhere as well. Can they also race here? Of course. Bring them to me and I'll register them for the races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? Select the register menu. Hey, <laughs> this is where you can register seahorses you've caught for the races. Why don't you try it out right now? Okay. Next, select the race menu to get ready to race. What? This is where you can select the course and begin a race. Since you're new to this, oh. I suggest selecting course C for starters. Yes. <coughs> this is where you can see the participants and check who you're up against. <laughs> Now then, shall we select a seahorse for the race? Yeah. This is where you can select one of the seahorses you've registered. I only registered the one. Oh, the seahorse's stamina is really important. Always make sure to check the arrow on the right. Once seahorse races, seahorses race, they need to rest to recover their stamina. We should have several seahorses ready for the race. Let's go with this one for now. <coughs> Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Yes. Um. Okay. Let's let's do this. Cheer to increase the seahorse's speed and win the race. Okay. If your gauge goes past the green, you slow down, so be careful. Different grades and types of races. Hurdle and combined races offer greater prizes. Fair enough. Come on, see yours. Last. Oh dear, I must not have provided an adequate explanation. Don't worry, everyone starts off like this. <coughs> Everyone's shit to begin with. Seems like my seahorse is a little bit buggered, but what the hell. Ah. 
my problem is that my seahorse is tired now. How do you manage your seahorses? Let's manage it. No. Register. I'm gonna need a faster seahorse. Let's try this damn shark tank thing again. interesting. I need better seahorses. Or at least better trained seahorses. whatever. Uh, no one else really has any. Thing. How about here? No. Bugger it, I'm going back to the boat. a bunch of not really doing much but I did take up time to do it oh crap and now we need sharks don't we oh well ready a harpoon tip. That's always a good one.
diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin sushi, just the thought of it makes me drool. But not in the ocean, because that would be silly. We've got a, a, a shark! There's a shark here! You, thank you before it wakes up. Tiger sharks need to learn to not mess with me. Apparently.
Hello, Saba. Bastard bloody thing. It's distracted by my cat. very overloaded. I'm incredibly overloaded. I know going down at this point in time is probably a terrible idea, but on the other hand, this is going to kill me, isn't it? Shit! Oh well. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All to buggery. I still got a couple of sharks, though. Terrible day out. <laughs> Least I got to keep my sharks. Of course, mirror only works in daytime, doesn't it? Oh well. <coughs> ah, it's my fish farm buddy, I think. What's his name? 
Otto, of course. What? Sea people? <laughs> it's hard to believe that something I've only heard of in legend is real. <laughs> if there's good beer in that area, I wouldn't mind trying some. <laughs> I don't think there'll be drinks underwater. But they do soup, so why not? Okay, who's this fella? Michael Bang, the master. <laughs> Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. Ready? This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I just have to fill my belly with what I can get. <clears throat> uh, what a rude customer. What do you want? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the movie director, Michael Bang. Doesn't. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Ha! <laughs> Looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director, Michael Bang. No. Can't believe he's talking like that about himself. Yeah. Filming my new movie, The Stone, around these parts, and I can't seem to get the ending scene right. Oh. I think I might find new inspiration with food that'll clear up my head. Oh, doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait! Mm. Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and was moved every time. Mm. All I can remember is explosions. <laughs> if you could make another such great movie through my food, I'd be willing to cook for you. <laughs> oh, so you're a fan. I'm grateful, but can you pull it off? <laughs> I've got high standards when it comes to sushi. The rice they use in these parts is terrible, by the way. <laughs> That's why we use the best rice we can find in this region. <laughs> Give me three days. I'll prepare food that will make your head all but explode with inspiration. <laughs> all right, I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. <sighs> Mancho, do you have a plan? <laughs> <laughs> Cooking is an art form. I know the well the pain of an auteur. Mm -hmm. I'll prepare food that will inspire him. Mm -hmm. However, as he said, the rice I use is the anam rice of this region. Mm -hmm. It bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been listening into your conversation. Mm -hmm. If it's rice, I think I could come up with something. Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you have an idea, Otto? <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a day. I'll be in touch in the morning. Mm. Mm. If we can get high-quality rice, <laughs> we can make sushi with three kinds of fish. Titan, triggerfish, harlequin hind, and coral <laughs> trout. It's a lot of ingredients. <laughs> he appreciates flourish. Please don't be late. Okay. Michael Bang's inspiration. Okay. Let's do the cookster thing because we can. Rank up. Acquired. Excellent. Next is Diamond. Take a while to get there. But, uh... Let's do this. At least research steamed wool feel. <coughs> okay. 
what's on the menu. I want to save those two for a special occasion. I'm coming. There you go. couple of people have had to go away because they haven't been served in time. That's unfortunate. At least I assume that's the issue. One, not bad, not bad. Oh, storming. Hello, said Dave. Have a good night's sleep. Uh, well, I suppose so. You sound tired. <laughs> well, I stayed up all night working on something. What were you working on? <laughs> I'll show you. Get on the boat and come on over next to the fish farm. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> I tried some food at the restaurant. The sushi has anam rice, mar anam rice mixed in, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Mm. Mancho has got superb skills, but you won't meet that picky movie director's standards with that kind of grain. <laughs> Since you're staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought you might help me grow some white rice. Well, that's very nice. Thank you. 
thing is, I'm not much of a farmer. What should I do first? Okay. I've seen how busy you are all day. I'll help you a little with growing the rice. Mm. It takes about a year in the real world to grow rice, but this is no rice farming game, is it? Okay. You'll be able to see results in two to three days. Mm. Uh, but the thing is, I've injured my legs. <laughs> You'll have to pluck out the beads. That'll prevent insects from harming the crop. Of course, we can have good rice. Plucking weeds is no problem. To think that's a rice paddy right behind the restaurant. That's really great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, glad to see you like it. Oh, as for the state of the rice paddy, technology has come a long way, and you can use a mobile app to check on it. The app's called Farm Now. I'll update you on the status every morning through the app. Mm. That reminds me, I remember when I used to be a novice farmer. Mm. I'd gone to a farming village in Thailand on a very hot day. I was resting in the shade, but a white-haired village chief came over, looked right into my eyes, and told me, ENOUGH! Now, now, call your temper. As it happens, I see some beads over there. Go and pluck them. I actually wanted to hear the rest of his story. <laughs> we can now visit the farm, where you can grow and harvest various crops needed for cooking. <coughs> Pluck out the weeds like that, and I'll do the watering. I'm pretty sure that even the picky director will be satisfied with rice of this quality. Otto will grow rice for you in the farm. If you don't visit often to remove the weeds, the soil health score may drop, causing pests to appear. Okay. Well, I suppose... Uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Alrighty. Okay. What do you got for me, Cobra? Steel net sensor trap. Yes, please. We are, after all, going to be going after more sharks. Quite probably. And seahorses. And whatever's in those pots and pans. That's tuna. Ah, 
Ah, I got two of the bastards. Ow. idea of what the hell the fish are that they want me to get other than that one and I've already got them already did had plenty Maybe less than five. Ah, here we go. That's some fishies that I want. There's definitely some fishies that I want. The coral trout, in fact. When in doubt, there's coral trout about. <laughs> Maybe it's this sound. Yes, I think it might be. Yes, that's the sound of the baby humpback whale. Please take a look around. There must be a baby whale nearby. It's above me. Up here. But further up. Damn it. Well, where are ye? Ah, oh, the crying sounds coming from behind that pile of rocks. Those stones will need to be removed to enter. It's been several days since I saw its parent. That whale would actually be dead. But whatever, I'm saving a baby whale. I don't mind. I'm not gonna argue. <coughs> Hello, wee baby humpback. 
I've all been removed. Let's head inside. <coughs> okay. An event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. That's fine. Let's... No, I said that's fine. But then I accidentally right-clicked, which is not fine. Hello, baby whale? We baby humpback, are you in here? There's a baby whale in there. Yeah, it seems frightened. Should I go and comfort it? Yes! Do so! Soothe the baby whale. There, there. Apparently. I think it's still a bit scared. Should I pet it a little? Honestly, probably not. But now it seems to like me. That's fine. I think it's less scared now. Let's keep on petting it. Because that's what you do with wild animals, is you just befriend them. Every time. Never leads to problems. I mean, if it were a cat out in the street, that's one thing. It seems to have let its guard down. If we go to a brighter area, the mom should come, right? We need to be careful bringing it back up. Come on, wee baby whale. We're going this way. Ah, there are vicious barracuda in the way. I have to get rid of them for the baby whale to follow. now. Yes, well, they're both dead anyway. Come on, whale. You ruddy whale. Is there anything? No. Good lord, this place is full of lionfish. Since the baby whale is timid, I'll have to get rid of them first. Damn timid baby whales.
Oh, there's a white reef shark up there. It's a white tip reef shark. <laughs> Unless I defeat the shark, the baby whale is not going to follow me. There's a lot of vicious fish today. We're almost at the surface of the sea. Let's go up a bit more. <coughs> I'll take one bullet from there. That was dangerous. <laughs> Looks a bit safer here. Wait a bit here and your mum should come. Cat. Oh, balls. More sharky sharks. <laughs> what do I do? Well, ah, uh, nothing. Such majestic creatures. Wow, it's huge. It's a mother's love for her offspring, I guess. All animals are the same. No, they're really not. <laughs> I feel like I should text my mom later. Ellie? Hmm, I see. I'm glad you took it to its mother. It wasn't easy getting it out. It got so easily frightened. Maybe you didn't like you, that's all. Look, screw you, is what he wants to say, but he doesn't because he's polite. Anyways, don't spend all your time hunting. Try to be more helpful. <coughs> Hello, baby whale. I think it was saying thanks. I don't know, I don't really speak whale. Those storm clouds look awesome though. I'd just like to point that out. Okay. Um. Yeah, that'll do. <coughs> right now. Oh! Who's this then? Is this someone we know or not? It's Clara. What's going on? You're riding a raft. My name is Clara. I didn't expect to see a person on the sea in this storm. Have you seen a great white shark around here, young one? Nope. I've seen many sharks, but no great white. That can't be true. Klaus, the enemy of my husband, must be around here somewhere. All traces lead to this place for sure. Klaus is known to be sighted only on stormy nights. 
On a stormy night just like this, it took my husband. That was 36 years ago. It will appear here for sure. Everything leads me to this place. Why are you hunting a great white shark on a raft? Mm. By the way, I've dived several times and I noticed that the terrain changed every time. Oh, yeah, you're not mistaken. The sea around here is very confusing for newcomers. Gosh, I just don't have enough time to get used to it. Young one, can you find Klaus for me? Huh? Me? Yes, you. You are familiar with this place. I need to find it before the storm passes. Just locate it and I will take care of the rest. Help this old lady, please. Uh, she looks desperate. Okay, all I have to do is just find it. Alright, I'll sweep the area. <laughs> really? Thank you, young one. Just give me a holler when you find Klaus's hideout and I will come right to you. Um, yeah. Well, it was definitely someone new. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <coughs> I'm going to see the sea people. Because I want to race some seahorses again. Oh, people want more help. That's nice. Mima, what's up? What do you want me to do? Oh no! What is it, Mima? I need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Say, could you venture into the depths for me? Alright, what do you need? Oh my, you're helping? <laughs> Well, I need tube coral, which looks like this. You can probably find it near the whale bones. Do help me out. Whale bones? I think I've seen them before. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, that's obviously not something I can accomplish inside the village. Okay, so kid over here wants to talk. Hey, King Long. Ah, oh, you lost your bowl, didn't you? Oh, the temple as well. What do I do? Huh? Kids? What's going on? Oh. Well, we were playing ball outside the village when a mega mouth shark suddenly appeared. Oh. He swallowed that ball. <laughs> mega mouth? You mean the huge? Yeah. Yes! Can you go get it back for us, human? <laughs> um, it looked really scary. Oh. Sniff! Oh. Ah, Alright, I'll get it back for you. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much, human. So hard to refuse children, even if they are half fish. Okay. Next. Dude in the workshop. Blacksmith. Cough, cough. Uh, you're not feeling well. Human, none of your business, cough. Um... You look pretty ill. Should I bring you something like coral porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Uh, Ramo had asked me to bring this before. Lies. Humans can't be trusted. Huh. Well, it looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Bancho to make it. The ingredients with fe feather and lily corals, right? Again, darn it! Why are you so angry? 
Junak, that pile of whale poop must have tricked me. My beluga whistle, I lost my precious whistle to him. Beluga whistle? Yes, whistle that summons beluga anywhere in the village. I knew I shouldn't have bet that whistle in the game. That heartless swindler tricked me. Human, can you bring it back for me? Uh, me? Yes, I have nothing left to bet in the card game. I am broke. And I'm not good at cards. Mm. I'll play a couple of rounds for fun. But... Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lost five times straight and went all in. Bet the whistle mm -hmm. in the last game. Looked like she needed it. Could you just give it back to her? <laughs> Not for free. Play cards with me and win, then I will give it back for the one. Quite an annoying dude. Well, if you say so, if I win, you give the whistle back. Sure, sure, let's play the game. You need to bet some money. <coughs> okay. Flip cards to pair up the matching ones. Whoever pairs up the most matching cards wins. Ten is fine for a gamble or wager. Double, damn it. Ah. Sucks to be you, buddy hole. Ha, I can't believe it. I was beaten by a human. This hurts my pride. Well, a promise is a promise. Take this, it's the beluga whistle. Give that to the lady over there. Oh, I am impressed, human. Ah, yes, this is it. The beluga whistle, well done. But, uh, but what? You need Bay to summon and ride the beluga. I went bankrupt playing games with that dude. Hey, look, you can have this whistle. What? But I didn't even know how to use it. It's easy. You just blow this whistle anywhere in the village to call the beluga. 
So you need to pay some pay to ride the beluga. Uh, but I'm sure with all your skills, you can easily make money from the casino, no doubt. Okay. Uh, I should summon the beluga when I have to cover a large distance. Alrighty. <coughs> 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 You don't look well. Is something wrong? <laughs> oh, human. Um, my cute Selgio has disappeared. Sir Selgio? Yes, he's my purple pet squid. He was gone when I woke up. Sob. Well, he's disappeared before. He's followed the shining jellyfish. Shining jellyfish. Can you please find Selgio for me? He's timid, but put this high-quality food nearby when he's calm to lure him. Got it. I'll try luring him with the food. with this long snouted seahorse even though he's completely useless at the moment as well. Uh Jayakar's seahorse for this one.
Ching Long Shrine. Oh, you must be the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. Mm. Hello, what is this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. Uh, I heard from Tenjin that you're helping out in the village. Yes, well, that's uh, how it is for now. Mm, in that case, there's something I'd like your help with. There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, however. Should have been more careful about storing it. Hmm, that sounds like a big deal, but how can I help you with something like that? In the days when we see people roamed these seas freely, we left some records in human waters. I oh, must be talking about the Sea People Record Chamber. There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. Okay. Uh, it was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the Sea People Record Chamber first. Okay. Alright, I'll try and bring, bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long go with you. Wedding song record. Alrighty. Well, I'll try and do that today. And I'll try and take out, what is it, Klaus the Great White Shark tonight. Of course. He's the storm shark. Hmm. Okay. Enhance my gun. Quite happily to do that, yes. Shining jellyfish. Mm. Maybe following the jellyfish will lead us to Lynchin's pet squid. Uh, <coughs> maybe it will. Yes, I did see the Mega Mouth Shark. That's another Mega Mouth Shark. Maybe it's in here. Let's try using the flashlight. Hello. I think I just saw Lynchin's pet squid. Absolutely did. There it is again. There you are. Okay, I'm sure it's inside. Should I check on it? Mm. Seems to have calmed down a bit. Let's try luring it outside. 
Let's try putting the high quality food here that Lynchon gave us. bug net to catch it. Great, now let's take the squid to Lynchon. Let's do that, but let's first... I don't really think we need one of those, but what the hell. Fucking bastard! Bastard! Spotted seahorse. Look just for that, you absolute bastard of a thing. Die. Okay. Ah, oh, Mega Mouth. I know you're there. Trigger bomb trap, is it? Okay. Ah, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball. Because it is. That's the one that swallowed the ball. Bastard frilled shark.
Oh, of course it's a damn cookie cutter shot. <sighs> so one thing I love about this game is I keep being reminded of species of fish that I never, I just completely forgot existed. Like the cookie cutter shark. Just what I was looking for. Because still have to take out Klaus. I'm ready to take pictures of manta rays. I had some lighting guys and made them set up fix lighting fixtures at the right places. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must have spent some money. <laughs> <laughs> One can't pass up an opportunity like this. They told me that lighting fixtures were set at a depth of 20 meters. Can you please check them out? I expect awesome pictures then. Alrighty. I'm sure we probably can. We can either take awesome pictures of thing, manta rays, catch Klaus, both, both is good. Ah, let's see. Cobra, you got anything, buddy? Anything at all useful? Okay. Apparently he can't sell me anything. Uh, <coughs> I've been neglecting my night dives anyway. It looks so nice. So pretty at night. toy hammer. seem to be anything out here other than these damn clear fin lionfish at the moment. Of 
we've got 16 and a half kilos of the damn things. Well, it's not all that. Some of it's seashells and sea urchins and shit too. <coughs> and weapon fragments. Ah! Scrimony! Shit, I think I just found the vortex. Oops, a vortex. Does that mean that there's the great white shark's hideout inside? I'll just go check inside and call the old lady. Um, I don't really want to go in there just yet, actually, if it's all the same, Dave. It's nice to know it's there, but in all honesty... I think we need more oxygen first. And more ammo. Definitely more ammo. Oh shit, that's a fucking tiger shark and I've got no ammo. Stick. Okay. Ha! Ah, ammo. Ah! Ah! Bastard thing, get away! So, oxygen. Shit. So with all the damn sharks, man? Ah, oxygen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, the old black tip reef shark. I put my... there it is. Okay, now... Uh, <coughs> now that we have ammunition... You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Yeah, no shit, it's a great white shark. Although... I'm meant to be photographing manta rays as well at a depth of 20 meters. Which is just over here, I think. Yes, good. <coughs> Sharks must have knocked down the lighting okay. fixtures. Need to prop them up and connect them again before taking pictures. Okay. <coughs> and plug the sodding thing in. Good, it looks better illuminated. I should lure plankton by dropping the lure capsule in the middle. I should. Let's do exactly that. See glowing worms, they make the scene surreal. Manta rays won't come if I'm here. I should hide behind the pile of rocks over there until one of until one appears. <coughs> well that wasn't long. Oh, that really is a manta ray. I must keep my distance so I don't scare it off. Take a picky, picky, snappy, snappy. Okay. Wanna 
it's illuminated. is fantastic. Now I must go up and talk to Udo. Not right now though. Because <coughs> uh, it's time for Klaus. Come on, Klaus. We can do it, apparently. Mm hmm. It's a big ass great white. I knew it was here. I must quickly call the old lady. Where's the walkie talkie? Oh my god, I didn't ask her phone number. How ferocious looking. I should find a way out before it opens. Before it opens? What? Oh dear. Great white shark, Klaus! Ah, oh, it woke up! Uh, we need to buy time until that old lady returns. Well... Die, you absolute bastard. Oh! Nice one, Clara. Finally got you, Klaus. I'm sorry, young one. I couldn't get familiar with this area after all. A great white shark making a whirlpool? I didn't see this coming. How ruthless. So Whirlpool claimed my husband's life. Sobs. Anyways, you gave it what it deserved. I must express my gratitude somehow. I'll see you at the boat. 
I'll be waiting for, for you from up there. Alrighty. Whew, that thing was extra ferocious. Now let me find a trophy, trophy, a trophy to write home about. The meat is very tough. It is fatty though. Bancho would like it. Klaus's fin. it would seem. Back to the boat. <laughs> <coughs> I was finally able to complete my long waited revenge thanks to you. As long as it gave you peace. This is for you. It's a necklace made of t its teeth I broke off of it during my first encounter. Ah, oh, a shark tooth necklace. I can sense some power within it. I don't need it anymore, but it will help you in your adventure. May you live in peace. Indeed, Clara. Thank you. Huh? I received a notification and... Super rare Great White Shark Bots card! Oh, you must be a hardcore Marinka collector. I bet you would risk your life to get a rare Marinka. I, uh, didn't do this to collect cards. Am I seeing a Marinka completer in the making? Yeah, I guess it's time for me to make way for the future generation. Now keep an eye on you. Godspeed! Yippee! Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, take a look at this picture, Udo. Who I'm clearly talking to now. Who? What do you think? Ah, oh, this is a manta ray. <laughs> Look how majestic it is. Oh. My eyes are teary, do you see? Uh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our editors will love this picture for sure. <laughs> You're my hero. Oh. I'll see you again. Thousand gold. Not bad. Not bad. From now on, photo spots will appear at night as well. Take nice evening pictures. Excellent. Okay, back to the restaurant. What can we research? White shark omelette. Okay, it's not what I'd do with it, but whatever. <coughs> Mind you, I have no idea what I would do with it. I'm hardly a weird experimental sushi chef like Bancho, so... Right, now... Menu. No, not the coral trout. 
or the cookie cutter shark for that matter. We can enhance some zebra shark though and put that out. Okay. Yellowfin tuna, why not? Alrighty, that'll do. Five Artisan's Flames, nice. Yeah. Wait, can I have a moment with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're that reporter from before that I was just helping out with the manta ray photo last night. Do you need help with something? Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help, my boss entrusted me with a new project. <laughs> I'm sure a promotion will be in order. Yeah. Well, anyways, <laughs> tell me, sir, have you seen extremely novel fish inside this giant blue hole? <laughs> uh, there are fish from many different locales in there. What do you mean by novel? <laughs> I mean, very peculiar fish. The sort no one has ever discovered before. <laughs> Our magazine has a secret weapon, the fish radar, and it tells us that this blue hole is a treasure trove. That's treasure trove with the T of undiscovered species. <laughs> we Weekly Fish are planning a series of specials over the next few months to showcase these precious new fish. Mm. It's called the Catch Them All Project. Yeah. We can research the fish on the weekdays and if you can catch specimens for us over the weekends, 
that we featured in the specials that we'll be publishing in the Weekly Fish every Monday. Yes, Monday! <laughs> Me catch them. <laughs> well, you are kind of the only diver in these parts, aren't you? I'm not really following your logic. In any case, as we have to have the issues ready by Monday, you'll have to catch these specimens by Sunday evening at the latest. Mm -hmm. But that's tomorrow, isn't it? This this is just too sudden. Yeah. Now then, let's get down to business. The fish we spotted with our radar this week was the humphead parrotfish. Mm -hmm. Huh, a horned parrotfish. I've never seen anything yeah. like it. The location is close to the boat rack. That's what I can detect. Oh, and uh, oh. I'll give you this fish tracker. If there's a fish mon you need to catch nearby, it'll vibrate and play a sound. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Guess what this device can do? It allows you to see all the information about fish even while diving in the water. You can see your best grade fish, how many fish you have in your restaurant and fish farm and more. Mm. Is that right? But how is that possible when I didn't link my device yet? Uh. Um, you're a bit clueless, aren't you? By the way, good luck then. That's till Sunday, or tomorrow evening, to be precise. Uh, this is sudden work for a magazine. Come to think of it, I think I've seen the boat wreck in passing. <sighs> okay, strange creatures will sometimes appear in the giant blue hole. They're called Fishmon, and are anything but easy to catch. Get information from the journalist Udo, who comes on Saturdays. From now on, you can use the fish tracker underwater with the tilde. Use this device to count the number of ingredients from the fish farm and sushi restaurant and check the grade of the fish you catch while you're still in the water. That is useful, I have to say. Um, but for now... I am running away. Dave is retiring temporarily. He will return another day soon. Farewell for now.